Welcome to this tutorial on calculation of bubble points and dew points in DWSIM. In this tutorial, we will learn to generate bubble point temperature at a given pressure, dew point temperature at a given pressure. To record this tutorial, I am using DWSIM 5.2 Classic UI and Windows 10. The process demonstrated in this tutorial is identical in other OS also, such as Linux, Mac OS X, or Fossey OS on ARM. To practice this tutorial, you should know to add components to a flow sheet, select thermodynamic packages, add material streams, and specify their properties. The prerequisite tutorials are mentioned on our website. You can access these tutorials and all the associated files from this site. In this tutorial, using DWSIM, we will calculate bubble point temperature at 2 bar, dew point temperature at 10 bar. Here we provide the compounds, inlet stream conditions, and property package. I have already opened DWSIM on my machine. Go to File menu and select New Steady State Simulation. Simulation Configuration Wizard window appears. At the bottom, click on the Next button. Now, in the Compound Search tab, type Methane. Select Methane from ChemSip database. Next, we will add Ethane. Similarly, Add propane. Next, add isobutane. Followed by n-butane. Similarly, add isopentane. Then, add n-pentane. At the bottom of the window, click on the Next button. The property packages opens. From available property packages list, Double click on Suave Red List Wong. Then click on the Next button. We are moved to a new window named Flash Algorithm. From default Flash Algorithm, select Nested Loops VLE. Click on the Next button at the bottom. The next option is System of Units. Under System of Units, select C5. At the bottom, click on the Finish button. Let us maximize the simulation window for better visibility. Now, let's insert a material stream for which we have to calculate bubble points and dew points. On the right hand side of the main simulation window, go to Flow Sheet Objects. In the Filter List tab, type Material Stream. From the Displayed List, drag and drop a material stream to the flow sheet. Click on the material stream MSTR000 to view its properties. Let's change the name of this stream to feed. Now we will specify the feed stream properties. Go to input data. Select flash spec as temperature and pressure if not already selected. By default, temperature and pressure are already selected as flash spec. Change temperature to 25 degrees Celsius and press Enter. Change pressure to 5 bar and press Enter. Now, let us specify the feed stream compositions. Under Composition, choose the basis as Mole Fractions if not already selected. By default, Mole Fractions is selected as basis. Now, for Methane, Type the amount as 0.05 and press Enter. For Ethane, type it as 0.1 and press Enter. Similarly, for Propane, type 0.15 and press Enter. And for Isobutane, type 0.1 and press Enter. Next, for Inbutane, type 0.2 and press Enter. For isopentane, type 0.25 and press Enter. Lastly, for n 
type 0 0.15 and press enter. On the right, click on this green tick to accept changes. Now we will see how property package calculates phase equilibrium data of compounds. To do this, go to Utilities. Click on Add Utility. In the Add Utility window, under Object Type, select Material Streams. Under Utility Type, select Phase Envelope. Under Flow Sheet Object, select Feed. Then, at the bottom, click on the Add Utility button. Phase Envelope window opens. Let us adjust the Phase Envelope window for better visibility. Enter name as bubble point hyphen dew point. Under settings, click on bubble points tab. Select the checkbox against custom initialization. We are going to calculate bubble point temperature against given pressure. So, let initial flash method be PVF. Here, we will change only initial pressure and pressure step. Type initial pressure as 1 bar and press enter. Type pressure step as 1 bar and press enter. We will not change any temperature value as we are doing a PVF flash. Now, go to dew point step. We will repeat the same process as bubble points initialization. Select the checkbox against custom initialization. We are going to calculate dew point temperature against given pressure. So, here also, let the initial flash method be PVF. Hence, we will change only initial pressure and pressure step. Type initial pressure as 1 bar and press enter. Type pressure step as 1 bar and press enter. Now, click on the calculate button at the bottom. The calculation process is running in the background. We can see the dew points and bubble points generated at different pressure and temperature. Under results, click on table. In the column PB, look for 2 bar at which we had to calculate the bubble point. Here is 2 bar under PB column. Look for temperature in TB column corresponding to 2 bar. We can see the bubble point temperature to be minus 91.9274 degrees Celsius. Next, we have to find dew point temperature at 10 bar. In the column PD, look for 10 bar at which we have to find the dew point. Here is 10 bar under PD column. Look for temperature in TD column corresponding to 10 bar. We can see the dew point temperature to be 87.396 degrees Celsius. There is an alternative way by which we can verify the correctness of the above results. For this, let's get back to flow sheet window. Click on feed. Under input data, select flash spec as pressure and vapor fraction. Type vapor phase mole fraction as 0 and press enter and pressure as 2 bar and press enter. Now check the temperature which is minus 91.9274 degree Celsius. This is the bubble point temperature at 2 bar pressure. It matches the value obtained earlier from phase envelope. Similarly, let's check for dew point temperature. Let the flash spec be same as pressure and vapor fraction. Type vapor phase mole fraction as 1 and press enter and pressure as 10 bar and press enter. Now check the temperature which is 87.396 degree Celsius. This is the dew point temperature at 10 bar pressure. It matches the value obtained earlier from phase envelope. Let's summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned to generate bubble point temperature at a given pressure. Dew point temperature at a given pressure. As an assignment, 
calculate the following for the given component system and inlet conditions. Calculate bubble point pressure at 20 degrees Celsius. Calculate dew point pressure at 60 degrees Celsius. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conduct workshops and give certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your time queries in this forum. The FOSI team coordinates conversion of existing flow sheets into DWSIM. We give honorarium and certificates. For more details, please visit this site. The FOSI team coordinates coding of solved examples of popular books. We give honorarium and certificates. For more details, please visit this site. The FOSI team helps migrate commercial simulator labs to DWSIM. We give honorarium and certificates. For more details, please visit this site. Spoken Tutorial and FOSI projects are funded by NMICT, MHRD, Government of India. This tutorial is contributed by Koshik Dutta and Priyam Nayak. Thanks for joining.